It can be a challenge to find time to build all the reports we need to understand our data. The Nonprofit Success Pack reports will help get us off to a great start. To find the reports, we'll navigate to the Reports tab. If we can't see the Reports tab, we click the More tab on the top right to find the tab. Once there, we choose all folders on the left and look for three folders, NPSP Constituent Reports, NPSP Fundraising Reports, and NPSP Dashboard Reports. NPSP Constituent Reports describe the people and organizations we work with. We also see some great membership reports, which is exciting since we use NPSP membership functionality at our organization. NPSP fundraising reports are frequently requested like giving by household reports, lists of upcoming expected payments, and even grant reporting. NPSP dashboard reports contain reference reports for the dashboard that are also included in NPSP. If we want to customize NPSP dashboards for our own needs, we should make copies of the reports in this folder. In fact, it's best practice to limit how these reports are customized. So let's quickly change the folder sharing access for all non-administrators to viewer so that these users are unable to edit the reports directly. Click the arrow to the right of the folder name Click Share and change our access settings. All set. Now only admin users can make changes to reports in the folder and others will save copies if they want to experiment or make custom versions. NPSP also includes four useful dashboards. Let's take a look at these by navigating to the Dashboards tab, scrolling down and clicking on All Folders to find the NPSP Dashboards folder. There are great dashboards to choose from, including an analysis of our current development, a development forecast dashboard, an analysis of our donors based on their giving range, and even a dashboard for the ROI of our campaigns. Remember to change sharing access for users to viewers on this dashboard folder so that only administrators can update the dashboards everyone uses. The NPSB Reports Workbook lists each report in the package describes best practices for folder sharing and helps us install the reports package if our Salesforce instance didn't come with them. It also includes tutorials on customizing the base reports to meet our specific needs. There's so much to learn in this workbook, we can't wait to try some of these tutorials ourselves. If you can't find the folders mentioned in this video in your Salesforce instance, it's likely that you'll need to install the NPSP reports package. Check the workbook for more information on how to do this. For more details and best practices, see the NPSP documentation. Thanks for watching.